Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. You're just sweet as pie. Isn't this card just the cutest thing ever? I super fell in love with the basket weave embossing folder which was in the second release for the celebration items but have no fear if you didn't earn it during celebration last month it will actually be available in the 2018-2019 annual catalog. So you just have to wait till June 1st if you haven't received received your, um, your embossing folder with the basket weave. So you can still get it, you just have to wait till June. So of course if you did get it, you can play with this fabulous technique now and if not, save this for later because it is super, super cute. I just love the texture of that pie and the way that looks. It looks so cool and it really gives more to this basket weave embossing folder. Rather than just using it for a background or for a basket, you can actually use it for a pie. So I was just going to show you how I did that. Of course I used some of my favorite, um, embo or not embossing folders, but my favorite um, Framelits, there's the layering circles framelit, which is what I use to get the scallop edge, and then the stitched shape framelits. So I love using the stitched shapes with both my layering ovals and my layering circles. They just, they go together so well, they layer together, they give so much texture and oomph to your project. So after I die cut both of those using crumb cake cardstock, then I actually took the, um, the stitch shape circle and put it through the embossing folder. So here is the embossing folder. You can see it is one of our dynamic embossing folders. So it's super thick and gives lots of great texture. You can see that's the back side and that's the front side. So then to add a little bit more texture and color, then I went ahead and took some soft suede ink and my little sponge dauber and I just tapped it in the ink. Now you want to be careful not to use too much or otherwise your pie is going to look burnt. So I kind of tap off maybe a little bit and then just lightly go over that basket weave. I like to go in both directions so that the basket weave actually picks up color on all those little um, bump bumps and nooks and crannies of that pie. So if you wish, you can always do this now or you can go ahead and adhere it to your scallop so that you can get a little bit on your scallop. So if you wish, you can always just do a little bit on the edges. Again, we don't want to burn our pie, but we do want to give it that golden crispy look. So then I adhered the two of those together and that's how you get that fabulous little pie. And the other thing is I used the stitched shape squares in um, both the white and the red, white and red, and that's how I got that little like checkered looking tablecloth or however you want to see that um, super cute background. I also wanted to show you that there are lots of stamp sets that have fruit in them that you can use. There is the Cool Treats which has the strawberry and the cherry and of course it has lots of great sweet greetings like your sweet and things like that. There's the sprinkles of life which has an apple in it and it does have a coordinating punch to punch out the apple. The cool treats does have a coordinating framelit set. And then of course in the occasions mini catalog right now, there's the fruit basket stamp set which has um, the pear which I used for this card here. It also has coordinating punch set that punches it out. There is the pineapple, the watermelon, and the strawberry, but I don't know that there's a pineapple or watermelon pie. And while I super, super love the strawberry, I know most um, strawberry pies are like a gelatin, like a jello one, and so you don't actually put a top over it with crust. So um, while I really love the strawberry and wanted to use that, I didn't feel like it was right because that would not be the type of pie that you usually make with strawberries. But um, if anybody knows a, um, a watermelon or a um, 
a pineapple pie, then let me know. I'd love to know what that pie is like um, or if it even exists. Maybe it doesn't. I know cakes that exist, but not pies. So there's lots of different stamp sets that have um, sweet greetings or little fruit in them that you can use with your pie. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial showing how to create a fabulous pie with that basket weave embossing folder. Like I said, don't forget if you don't have one, um, you can always get it when it comes out on June 1st in the 2018-2019 annual catalog. So don't forget to check out my blog, laurasstamppad.com, for more information and details on this fabulous pie card. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that would make it super sweet. And I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.